Here he is, my favourite footballer. Here he is. Steven. Steven. I then just talked in football on Spotify. We are here live at Waterworks Field here in Desbrot Town, where Biggles Wade face Desbrot Town FC in the United Counties League. The starting 11 is as follows. In goal, we've got the ever present Aaron Khan, a back four of George Joyce, who's at right back, Derek Maruma at left back, the two centre halves today are Stefan Bailey and Gabriel Adwolo. Um, midfield three of Banat, Mohamed El Ahabi, and Cameron Omar, and a front three of Ivan Otto, Menembolo, and Martin Ofuzu. Subs today are Abe Adiola, Duke Nati, George Harlow, Delapo, Badsamosi, and Lawrence uh, Jong. United still looking for their first points of the season. They travel to a, against a Desborough Town side who, off the back of their first two wins of the season, back-to-back wins, they're on a bit of a high right now themselves. So, B, another difficult match today for Beagles Wade. I also have joining me on co-commentary Beagles Wade United player James Tizard. James, how are you today? Very well, thank you. Yeah. Very well. Frustrated not to be out there, but it is what it is with injuries. Of course. How long's your recovery? Well, if you ask me, days. If you ask the physio, probably a couple of weeks. Yeah. So, it'd be good to see you back out there, of course. Thank you. Appreciate it. Captain today is, of course, Bernat. We like to call him player physio, the club. Player to look out for for Desborough Town today, a player that we obviously would like to stop, would be, actually be Tom Gardia. Gardia? Gardia? Tom Gardia. He scored seven goals in his last five matches. He seems to be pretty much their talisman today, and he does start once again for the hosts. Oh, yeah, very well, thanks. All the best, yeah. All the best, guys. The referee just getting the captains together. We're at the Euros for a second there. <laughs> Different music choices. So we've got a 4 3 3 for United today. United's next game after this will be Coggenhoe United away from home. That is another 3 o'clock kickoff on next Saturday. Because if you'd like to sponsor any players, it's £75 a season to sponsor a player. Sponsorships, we are still be available. For more information would be on the club website. It's Biggles Wade. United will be kicking us off here at the Waterworks Fields. A couple minutes early, it looks like, but makes up for a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's about a 10-minute delay. As we kick off here, Eagles Wade United against. Good, good up, well done, good Desperate start. Desperate Town. Place it up. Of course, I'm joined by James Tizard. He'll be in and out. Get organised then, early. No, no, men, no. You know, Second. On this far side. Let's win. Twelve coming by Otto. Good. Twelve cleared. Oh, get the quality right. Get the quality right. What's that? Comes Otto. Always trying to make stuff happen. Bailey, that's a good long ball over the top. Ivan once again on the ball. He's intercepted well. 
Stephen Bailey there, gone down awkwardly. Did not look like a good landing for him. As I mentioned, been that player physio. We've also got Dell chipping in, I think, today. Just seemed to land awkwardly. It's a bit of a break in play as Derek Maruma, he seems, oh sorry, Stefan Bailey gets back to his feet. Seems to be okay, he's going to the sidelines, I don't think he'll be coming off, but we'll keep you updated. The game gets back underway. Way well. Martin and Fuzu leading the line for United today. Stephen Bailey's back on field of play, which is good to see. Leo, can we shorten this up, yeah? That ball over the top. Can you dash? The way. One more. Get it down. United. Get yeah, something, JB. Get something. Well, it's JB. Get the ball. Oh, I look him. He's still playing. Still playing. Ben Fitz still playing. Still playing. Plus his lines there. Still sit on no George Joyce. Collects the ball. Let's play. Ball given away there. Play. Play. But that missed time challenge there. He's had potential here, Tom Gudja. Yeah! And that's in the back of the net. We mentioned the danger of Tom Gudja. That's his eighth goal this season. Well, that's an early start for the host. They've good, had well a good done. start to this match. Done. United just couldn't find the out ball, couldn't keep possession. And it's Desborough Town 1, Biggles Wedge United 0. Lilsie! 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 Frustrating goal. That's better. Keep one on the deck. We're much better than that, yeah? Keep it on the deck a bit more. It's around five minutes played. If we're struggling, yeah. But when we've got possession, let's do it. Now to find themselves a goal down. Then that looks to find a quick all over the top. It looks like it's going to be comfortably collected by the goalkeeper. Not the start that Christian and Biggles Wade have wanted from this match. It's well collected there by Bernat. Nice little one two. It's fouled there, and United got themselves a free kick. So it's, it's a good response from going a goal down with one of themselves a free kick in a good position. Got the free kick. Could well be dangerous. It's, it's gone over the bar and it's out of play for a goal kick. It's first chance there for United. Apologies for the camera. I was just trying to position it in a better direction. To mention, we also got James Sizzard in and out of commentary. He hopes to be back 
playing in a couple of weeks' time. Should be a big boost for United. But that was a well, it's a good header by Fugvas. And it's throwing to the hosts early on. It's been a good start by the hosts, United. Haven't really had much to respond so far. Had a chance over the bar. But the hosts are definitely playing like a team who have got back to, had back-to-back -back wins in the last two <laughs> matches. Playing with confidence. And of course, when you've got a talisman like Tom Gadger up front, very hard to defend against. A player who, like I mentioned, seven on, goals in his last five. And he's already scored yes, again up. today. Yes, we knew we had to stop him to uh, stop no Desmond Town. No foul, no foul, no foul. Him so far. Just keep him going that way. Keep him going that way. Apologies for Please the restricted view it. today as well. It's quite difficult to find a good angle. Second! United just have to weather this storm a little bit. Just stay compact, stay. And hopefully try and what we're looking for is hitting Desborough on the counter-attack and take some chances. Cameron Omar, middle of the park there, just gives away the ball, unfortunately. It's good pressure once again by the host. George Joyce does well and he's won the ball back. And it's could well be a chance here for United. And just can't seem to string a pass together at the moment, but we've managed to get the ball in a decent position. And it's just that final ball. It's, it's almost like we are we're rushing it a little bit and just got to take our time with the ball. And that... Left in there by my room bar. I think that kind of just proves uh, my point a little bit with Biggles Red United. Oh, start yeah. rushing on the ball. Need, you know, we're not taking our time okay. with the ball. And it's here to see so far in the early goings. United are not playing comfortable football right now. They're playing very much on the back foot, of course, conceding the early goal. You just can't seem to uh, stay calm and composed and just play the game. That's all we have to do. But that's not what we're doing so far. Well then, Jake. Just get your body in there now. Well then, Jake. That'll do us. That'll do us. It's like United have won themselves a throw. And it's just about calmness now. Keeping the ball. Next one. Drink Next one. passes together. There we go. Well then, uh... Attacking opportunity here for United. Nice little one two down the left hand side. Ivan Otto looking for the cross. He takes his man on. Is it back to. As well. It's a nice little one two. Nice little passage of play there for United. Shot by Mahari, which was well saved. Fixing! Win the second! Nice. Yes. on the ball. Maybe took it. And Cameron. Looking for that ball. Does well. Looking for the strike. Oh, it's well saved in the end. It's Menon Bola with the strike. That was a good ball by Cameron Omar. The strike by Menon Bolo. Four to save out of Chris Jones. It's a bit more positive, wasn't it, James? That chance. Yeah, first time we've got the ball down and actually uh, try to play a bit of football. So, carry on doing that, we might get something. Of course, I guess good defensive line there to uh, for the offside. Move on, let yeah, move on, let Aaron take. Got Aaron taking. Oh, he's not taking the free kick, Karen. Are you talking, yeah? Are you talking to him, 16 year old there, Aaron Khan, of course, still between the sticks. Played every minute for United this season. Pass it, please. Play! No, he couldn't quite capitalise on the free kick, but I think with Fanat. Quick, now, big. Give an option. So just got to weather this early storm by the hosts. Stay in the game. 
And we've seen already that early chance by Manambola, and especially with Ivan Otto down the left hand side. He's stayed on his feet and he's kept the ball well here, Ivan Otto. In the end, he's intercepted. I think the referee. Is he giving the free kick? He's given the free kick against Ivan Otto. I think he played the advantage. He's well to stay on his feet. The end was dispossessed, but the referee has pulled it back for a free on, kick. No, no, Another right, dangerous right, position right, for United, who have responded very well to going a goal behind. Yeah, apologies for the restrictive view. Try and describe it as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> El Habi will be taking the free kick for Biggles Wage United. Free kick crossed in. It's well caught in there by the goalkeeper. Now we've got Gabriel down for United. I think he just landed awkwardly there, James. Yeah, I couldn't really see, but he looks to he's be up okay. now. Yeah, he's up now. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're doing a great play, son. Well, 12 minutes gone. It is Desbert Town. One Biggles Wade United nil. It's dominant for opening five minutes from the host. But since we've gone a goal behind, United have had a couple good chances of getting up the field a bit more. And they've re definitely responded well. And it's just about taking chances from here. That's too easy. And, uh, we weren't there. Definitely seems to be a goal or two for us in this game, I think. They could have pressed from the front here with Martin Afuzu. It's well headed away by Maruma. Yeah, who had his debut, I believe, last Tuesday against Ace Rose, but that with the ball over the top there. I thought we were about to see the next hurler on the ball there with uh, Benat. And then the door got carried away, Ryan. <laughs> no, it's, when he, it's what he was trying to do. The ball over the top, you know? Yeah. No, no. I know what you mean. Probably Pirlo now, not 10 years ago. <laughs> I take Pirlo now, to be honest. I take a lot right now. To be <laughs> That's it, good. As it travels, good. The right. room is in a lot of space here, but it looks like they're trying to find Ivan Otto. It's a good idea. Just too far for Otto and too close to the goalkeeper who collected well. United now. A more defending to do. He gets past George Joyce quite well. Tom Grudger, not unlike him, he fluffs his lines. Keep it. It's a good interception. That all really came from the pressing of Men and Bola, who started well today. So it take, just take your time a little bit on the ball. It's a nice pass down to the left-hand side of Derek Maruma, who he also has Ivan Otto to his left as well. It's unfortunate with the pass there, Derek. But that just couldn't quite time that challenge. And now the space has opened up for Tom Godja, who is one-on-one -on -one here with Aaron Khan. Goes for goal. And... It looks well, like no problem with that, son. that goal will stand. So that Tom Gudger passed it through. I'm not quite sure who scored for them. We're looking for a flag up that just never went up in Desborough Town after what's been a good five minutes, ten minute spell for United have doubled their lead. It's just not capitalising on chances and opportunities. A 
Yes. It's giving away the ball in the final third. You got a team playing in confidence that are winning football matches right now. And when you're in a situation where you're not winning football matches, it's very hard to get out of, out of the rot, as they say. United are definitely experiencing that. No foul now, no foul now. United looking to respond. Try and get a goal back in this game. Cameron Omar struggling there in the middle of the park as well. Looking for a bit more movement going forward, I think. Hold it up, Taz. Keep him facing that way. Now get Ivan keeps the ball in play. Good to be making stuff happen more on this left hand side than anywhere else. Looking for the dummy there, man. Oh, no, he just couldn't. He was down behind him. The win this. It was unfortunate. We've got another player down here for United. Martin Afuzu down for Biggles Wage United. Mentioned a bit, bit of a story for Biggles Wage United season going 1 0 down, responding quite well. I mean, having the ball in the final third and it ends up in the opposition's net. The story of the season so far, the, the amount of goals we've conceded when we've had the ball, <laughs> giving it away in the transition, we've just been poor. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we will be able to we will be streaming live tomorrow barton rovers oh sorry biggles wade united ladies blue side are away to barton rovers will be streaming that game live two o'clock kickoff on youtube and twitch so make sure you are subscribed and stay followed to the twitch channels Let's go. Let's up. L and T are covering those games. Go. The, the Reds are also go. away from home go. against go. Watford go. in a friendly. That's also two o'clock kickoff. They are both away matches tomorrow at two o'clock. The Barton, the Barton Rovers away from home. That will be streamed live on YouTube and Twitch. Two o'clock kickoff. So make sure you do join us for that one. That's only been the story of United's uh, performance so far. Ball over the top, straight to the opposition's goalkeeper. Just can't not seem to be clicking at the moment for United. This young team, of course, that we all know it's all part of the, uh, you know, a process. No playing against a team who are full of confidence for mentioning back to back wins. They actually struggled in their first four go. matches as for town. Oh, two draws and two losses, oh, but they've really bounced back in the last two matches, winning the last two. As United find themselves in a good position here once again. Done. It's well defended. It's actually well defended by Ben Fitzjohn, the forward, going all the way back to help his team. But Nat wins the ball back in midfield, though, looking for the cross of Afuzi. That was a good chance of... Flags up for offside. But that was a lot much better for United in the final third, I thought. Yeah, good pass by Bernat. Good Where's move by Martin. Just a shame about the offside. Yeah. Positive when we can. Absolutely. Good boy. Good boy. Good Good I 
Jones. <coughs> Last 20 well done, minutes played. Oh, just be aware of him, yeah? At Waterworks Field, it is Desperate Town. No, don't Two go, Biggles Road United go, nil. And uh, uh, a right, a really good start by the hosts yes. in the first in the there opening you go. five no, minutes. There you go. Got one nil up. United then responded well. Got themselves a couple of decent opportunities that gave away the ball in their final third. And Desmond Town capitalised. It was a good run by Tom Gudger, who did score the first. It also made the second. And that is where we are so far. Struggling to get that final ball killer pass. Keeping the ball much better though now, I think, than the opening five minutes. They're not rushing too much, I think, United. But that gives away the foul there, right in front of the referee. Don't think I have too many complaints about that. The referee has a word with Benat. Gives me a good opportunity to say that Benat also does have his own physio clinic at Biggles Road United. So if you are around the local area. And you do need treatment. Make sure you do contact Benat. The physio clinic is at the club. And it will help you out with anything that you need. That's a good ball over the top. He's on, found himself Dan. onside as well. Ringo! Ivan Otto was unfortunate there. Just had, didn't have that much support next to him. Up, up, up. We have to go! We have many different systems so far this season. But that's gone down. The referee's called over. <laughs> the referee had nothing to do in, and now the referee has given a free kick against Ali. A free kick to the host. Apologies for any foul language you might have heard there. When you're on the touch, when you're on the touch lines, tensions do run high, of course. Come across with it. That's all part of football. <laughs> but again, apologies if anyone was offended. Tom Gudger, who's definitely the man who's making stuff happen, and he's won his side of the corner, first corner of the match, and it does go to the host. This could be a crucial moment in the match. Oh, it's a throw in. Sorry. Thanks, Dale. <laughs> it wasn't far off from a corner. But it is only a throw in. And. Well cleared by Stefan Bailey. He seems to have recovered well after his early knock in the first half. Hold it. Well, I'm running if you want. Let him. Let him be. Stefan Bailey cannot seem to as well to well dispossessed there by Stefan Bailey and now the balls. With the Nats. Well in arch, well oh, it's red, the ball's just given away there. Ali trying to win the ball back. Red. And he has given the foul against Ali once again. It's another free kick here to Desper Town. Bitch, 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 where you are, bitch. Free kick, dangerous position for the host. Aaron wasn't sure if he was coming out there. It's cleared off the line by United. Still can't seem to get it out. They've given away another free kick. It's time for Nat gave away the free kick. It's another free kick here in the dangerous position for Desperate Town. You know, to give him a lot of fouls in this first half. Just got to be a little bit careful. Referee has not 
given a yellow card yet. Free kick, danger position. United will want to defend this. Jay! Jay! Get a bit! In the half, it's been mostly dominated by the host. United, a couple of decent chances, but just haven't got the confidence to really take those chances at the moment. I think that's been clear to see. All over the top. We'll get a corner! Stefan Bailey headed away well, and it's out of play for now. The first corner of the match, and Leo, a day that looked like it was going to be a nice sunny day. I think the heavens are about to open in Desborough. But of course, thank you all for watching. Of course, this is not do it right, do it right, do it right. In blackout, but we are committed to give the full match coverage after the three pm blackout. Of course, so thank you very much if you are watching. We do thank you all for joining us. Stay subscribed and followed. Head of the way once again by Stefan Bailey. That's well intercepted. United still on the ball. And it's an opportunity now for a counter-attack. Space can open up here for Biggles Wage United. He's got Ivan Otto down the left-hand side. It's well defended. And that might have been a decisive tackle by Phil Dazhit. Balls out of play. It's a throw into Desbra. And that was much better. That all came from Desborough Town's own corner. United responded well. We just couldn't find that final pass. And as I mentioned, the interception by Phil Dazhit, so crucial there for Desborough. Because United, Ivan Otto could well have been the one on one with the goalkeeper. And he was unfortunate. It was well defended, as I mentioned, by the fullback of Desborough Town. And George, once again, winning the ball back, doing well. He's stepping in for Axel Ampadu, who is not playing today. He's a big miss for United. But George, last couple of five, ten minutes, he's doing well. Well done, Fitzy. Well done, son. It's a bit of breaking play. The referee having a little chat there with uh, Melambola. As I mentioned, the day that looked like it was going to be bright and sunny. Now the heavens, it's like it's about to open. Can we go relax with Zen? You don't want that, Millsy! United defending a lot better than they were in the opening 10 minutes of this match. If you are just joining us, it is Desbrook Town 2 because we're United nil. Around 25 minutes played so far. It was Tom Gudger who got his eighth goal in now six matches for Desborough Town. Um, he also made the second with a nice pass and it was, ends up being a tap-in um, to make it 2-0. United have had their own chances on the moment the goalkeeper was well saved. Ivan Otto looks to be the man who, uh, he's going to make something happen. <clears throat> Looking for that ball over the top. Always seems to be on a little bit. That ball is definitely there to be one. Just a couple yards away. We could have well been in business. I remember that's a well, well timed header there by, Mer by Derek. Oh. Flags up for offside Unlucky against Tom. Lucky mate, face it, face it, good. Can you face it for us, good job? Can you face it for us? Fuck it out. Apologies hey. for the bad foul language there. <laughs> Stefan Bailey, <laughs> that long ball over the top, and <laughs> just. Wasn't the best of passes once again straight to the goalkeeper. They're just trying to find that ball to one of the front three. As I mentioned, we've got the front three today of Men and Bola, Martin Afuzu, and Ivan Otto. And it's just finding that ball to one of the attackers going forward. Because United, I've mentioned, have, mentioned, have uh, had many uh, formations this season. I'm normally used to them yes, playing two up front to go with two strikers, but today it's only the one. Just get got the two. One down the left, one down the right, of course. The traditional 4 3 3. And as I mentioned, Ivan Otto, when he gets the ball, he can make stuff happen. As we are seeing here, 
stayed on his feet well, but the referee's actually given a foul against Ivan Ocho there. 15 to go, Judge, yeah? Big, 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 big. see how that was a foul, do you? You're always gonna, you're always gonna get it when the defender gets his body there. And the start of the defender's always gonna get the foul. Yeah. It's good to get a bit of an insight from a player. It's from a spectator's point of view. I'm just like, that seems a bit soft. But... Oh, I'd moan about it. It's a modern game, I'm... though, isn't it? I think you can't. Yeah. And I would moan about it to the ref. Good, good, good. Christian telling Aaron yeah, just to take his time up. a little bit there. I think there, get the line so up. just pushing everyone up the field here. It's going to be a long ball here by Aaron. Once again, looking Second. down the left hand side to Ivan Otto. There's a throw in on this left hand side. They're still fighting out there, though. They're still very much in the game. But now there's some space all of a sudden down this right-hand side. Yes. George couldn't quite get it there. Two men and Bola. Out of play. It's another throw now to United on the other side. Nice turn there by Bernat. He looks up. Finds the pass well. And Bernat. on the ball. That's a lot better. Looking for Ivan Otto. Now it's Ofuzu on the ball. It's Ofuzu. The turn. And now it's just unfortunate. Just hit. Just hit. The bag's up for offside. Ivan there just getting in the way a little bit. And it's out of play for a goal kick. But the flag was up. So it is a free kick, actually. <laughs> 33 minutes played, it is Desborough Town 2, Biggles Road United 0. United have responded well. It's just about being a bit better in the final third for United. We're just struggling a little bit of a bit. Jay, come on! Just catch Aaron off guard there. We need a bit of a breather! <laughs> Seem to be a lot more comfortable on the ball, but now they're fouled. Careful, Fitzy. Come away, then, Fitz. Just come away. Just an accident. Foul there by Ben Fitz. Jordan, that down on the floor. Of course, if you would like to sponsor a player, it's £75 a season. Please contact Biggleswedge United at gmail.com for more information they can give you if you would like to sponsor a player. Let him in then, also, like Let him in then. Top 11 for once again being our shirt sponsor. Keach Hospice for sponsoring the grounds. Biggleswedge United's ground, of course. Press the ball! And Aaron with the free kick. To play upfield, and you know, two 0 is always a dangerous scoreline in football. And one, the next goal will be very, very crucial. We'll be hoping we can get it. We need to get that, that next goal. And it's been really been caught out here. And it's Tom Gudger, like I mentioned, the man in form. And he's got past Stephen Bailey, and it's well caught there by young Aaron Khan who's really developed and grown in the early goings of this season. May have conceded a lot, but he's made some top, top just get saves. Goal side. That's it, just get goal side now. This season. Cameron Omar there does well. Keeping the ball a lot more confidently. Nice little one, two. It's much better football here from United. Flags up for offside, but it was good. Much better play there from United. Ready? What's made of United in the last 10 minutes? Been better? 
Need to get this second. Going forward. Going forward with the front three we've got will always be a threat. It's getting them the ball. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. It's trying to get the ball from the midfield to the attack. It's been a bit of a struggle. Yeah, and that's, and that's been the problem. Can we get back in and face it? Can we get back in and face it then? There's been a few good There's skippers getting free kicks now when he's not even touched. Keep doing that. Sent his wife and get chances. And as I mentioned, 2 0 is always a dangerous scoreline in football. So, the old cliche goal, the next goal will definitely be crucial. Yeah, definitely, especially late on in the half, like it is. We can score before half time, we've got a bit of hope. We can see game over. <laughs> We did it! Time it, time it, time it! Oh, four again, ref! Four again! So embarrassing the managers are fucking hell over there. Ben Nat taking his time, looking for that pass. He has potential here. He's beating the goalkeeper and the referee, I tell you what. Keeper could be in trouble here. Goalkeeper, that's last man. I didn't say anything. I just said it's not a red. That was my line. I just said. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, uh, and I'm not manager either. Referee is giving the goal kick, giving um, yellow card to the goalkeeper. I think that's definitely. <laughs> You're going to display me. I'm saying nothing. I'm just. You get past him, guys, and fucking double score, innit? So I don't want to get into an argument, but come here. It's a free kick in a decent position, though, for United. So I mentioned, though, it's that ball over the top that can definitely be threatening. We've been trying to get that ball over the top of the whole match. And that was a chance there. Goalkeepers, I mean, I think it's took off the team there. But, yeah, Carl was given. Cameron's going to be over this free kick. It's, it's going to be a big opportunity in the match itself. It's Omar crossing it in. Another the shots. The referee's blown early there for something. But you can't do that. Especially not with the press with like we're off the play. You either sit off or you press all the time, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the first goal came from my third half up. Yeah, and five minutes ago, before half time, said so United have been a lot more brighter in the last 15 minutes or so. Our best chance have definitely come from the free kicks we have been given. Cameron seems to be a lot more movement in the midfield for United. I mentioned the next goal will be so crucial in this match. What the outcome of the game could be. It's a free kick given there once again against United. George Joyce there. He's un under pressure, but he's done well there, George. Looking for that ball to Afuzu. Seems to be a bit isolated up there on his own at the moment. It's a good header down there by Maruma. Couldn't quite keep it on. Yeah, 
they really have to concentrate here, United. They did Just not want to see there, boys, yeah. the full half time. Keeping the ball more comfortably, keeping the ball well, and keeping possession. Nice little switch from left to right, out to George Joyce. Ball's gone back to Aaron Khan. Nice little head up there. Concentration levels are a lot better than the opening five minutes. I think United were a bit shell shocked from the start that the hosts made. A very bright start by the hosts, but United have grown into the game a little bit more. Yes, we're 2 0 down, but we've grown a lot more in the game in the last uh, 20 minutes than we did the opening. 20. Now, a nice head over there by Stefan Bailey to deny. Brooklyn Beagle. Oh, yeah. oh, Cameron Omar now. It's going to be a late, late chance in the first half for Beagle's Wade. Going at half time, 2 1 is a lot better than 2 0. Couldn't quite get the 1 2 together. Fine, Been defended fine, well by yeah. the host, and it's out of play for a goal kick. It might well be our last action of the first half. Yeah, that's just good. That's good pressing there by Fuzu. It's unfortunate, but he had two defenders there next to him, and I think he did well. But now they're holding the ball up well. Got past one, couldn't quite keep his feet together there, was unfortunate. That ball over the top, he's looking for Benat here once again, he's pressing well. And Chris Jones keeps the ball about three minutes away till half time. United, as I mentioned. Let's get, let's get the throw in there. First get goal. Get up, get up, get up, get up. He's got a charge. The streaming phone. Cameron wins the ball back. Dispossessed well. I think that's the level of quality there we've seen on the show between the two Red, sides. One of them, any one of them left. Dutch! 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 Come on, Ivo! Three looks to his watch. says two minutes till half time. From a bit of a shaky first opening 20 minutes for United, conceding the first two goals. Since then, it's been a very much competitive game of football, end to end stuff in the last 20 minutes. Working, working. Go on, boy. Go on. Well, it and yeah, we're at the corner. Well time tackle by Derek Maroon, and it's a very late corner for Desperate Town. As I mentioned, apologies for the restricted view. As I mentioned there, we got James on the Coco. It's a late corner in the day on the first half. Crucial United can defend this. It's well caught there by Aaron. That might well be that for the first half, as I mentioned. It's been a frustrating opening 45. <laughs> Looking for George Joyce there. Found him well there. 
the 16 year old Arab Khan. He's got mature definitely before his age, before his time. Also, he played in the FA Youth Cup on Thursday. Saved the penalty as well, Arab Khan, in the FA Youth Cup. Of course, playing first team football for Biggles Road United as well, just the age of 16. And another free kick has now been given to Desborough Town. But Nats, who's been called over to the referee a couple of times today. It's a referee giving a bit of a talking to. Looks like it's going to be a yellow card. As I mentioned, he's had a couple there. The referees have spoken to him, but he has given the yellow card. One too many, I think, there for Bernat. It's a late free kick for United to defend. Ted's in the the way well. And that's the half time whistle here. As it's Desbrook. It's been. Opening 45 minutes, it is Desperate Town 1, Biggles Road United 0. Work to do once again at half time for Christian Clovis's side. And uh, yeah, the first opening five minutes, Desperate Town came out the blocks well. Really, really took the game to United wasn't really in the game for the opening 15 minutes and we did concede the first two goals but I think the last 25 minutes or so it's been definitely more a competitive match having chances on the final third we're definitely good going forward we're not good we compete but we've also got James on the side what have you made of that first half James just quickly uh, well story of our season so far really um, been in possession in the final third lose the ball goal um you know, I read somewhere Tuesday night that we're actually half decent between the two penalty boxes. And I think today summed it up. Two goals conceded inside. We've cut back inside the 18-yard box. We've had the ball four or five times in their area and not scored. And at the end of the day, we're 2-0 down at half-time because of it. And I think it's that opening 15, 20 minutes as well where you just could not keep the ball. You couldn't really string a pass or two together no, at times. Didn't. We didn't keep the ball once in the first 20, 25 minutes. We were very erratic off the ball in midfield, um, almost just running around for the sake of it rather than, you know, getting into shape, trying to win the ball. Um, and then when we did have it, it was just, let's just try and hit it long and hopefully one of the strikers will get on the end of it. Um, you know, we've, we've calmed down a little bit. We've strung a few passes together. Um, Ali and... Uh, Ivan had a good little interchange and then ball couldn't yeah. quite get through. Bernat and Martin the same. You know, it's coming, but a little bit too late on in the half. You know, we need to start like that. Yeah. Could not feel it better myself. But hopefully second half, as I mentioned, the last 20 minutes or so has definitely been a lot more positive, I feel. Yeah, no, definitely. We're still in the game. Still very much in the game, as you said. Still in the game, you know. Next goal will be very crucial. Uh, Yes. What we can't do is what we do a lot of the time is concede in the first five minutes of the second half as well. You know, we need to take on board what Christian says, what Tom says, um, you know, come out a strong unit. If anything, just be defensive for the first 15. Don't concede and still be in the game after 75. First time. As you mentioned, I think I go back to the Newport Pagnell game a couple of weeks ago where it's probably the best opening 45 I've seen us play. I think we were drawing 2 2 at half time. Took the game to Newport Pagnell, who are quite up there in the league. And as you mentioned, it's just making sure you're switched on from the start of the second half and not conceding early. This is what we did that day. But yeah, that came again, again, that game, that came from us having the ball. We had a free kick on the halfway line. Um, the execution wasn't the greatest and then they went down the other end and got a penalty and you know and that, that's that's football and we get punished and at this level of football if you do things slightly wrong you'll get punished and we do that way too often that kind of 
sums up our half time thoughts. We will be back in around 10 minutes' time, 15 minutes' time for the start of the second half to make sure you do not go anywhere.
they are back for the second half. The players are all back out for both sides. United, as I mentioned, behind by two goals to nil. I mentioned the next goal in this match could well be very, very crucial. And as we mentioned in our half-time roundup, with me and uh, James Tizard, um, it was kind of a game of uh, two halves in the first half. The opening 20 minutes, United just could not respond to Desborough's bright start. We weren't much in the game at all. We just couldn't seem to gel or click at all. But the last 20 minutes was definitely a lot more positive going forward a lot more, making more passes in midfield. And... Um, that's something that we definitely need to start like that in the start of this second half because, as we mentioned, we concede quite a bit just after the second, uh, just after half time, and we don't want to keep that trend going. We want to try and get something out of this game. It is Desborough Town who will be kicking us off for the second half, as I mentioned. Sponsorships are still a thing this season, so if you'd really like to sponsor a player, it is £75 a season. Make sure you email United at gmail.com. It, what the sponsorships can do for you, we can of course promote your business as well as people be helping out the players as well that you're sponsoring. So it's a win win for everybody. <laughs> there is no substitutions for Biggs Wedge United at half time. So it is the same 11 out for the second half. I will. I will. I know people over there. Where are we standing? I think that's just his way of asking to come off. <laughs> How are we? We watch every week. We just eat cake. That's what you do, don't you? No. I fruit. You go to the gym. <laughs> no, you don't. You go to the gym. You train hard. No, you eat cake. Get the endorphins going around your body. You feel better. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to get stuff off the pitch. What's that? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> and back on the way for the second half. Sorry, got to get the stopwatch on. There we go. That's official. United won the ball back from the kickoff quite well there. It was that bright start to the second half. Still very much in the match. George Joyce, who I thought had a positive first half for sure. As soon as he goes down, referee says nothing doing. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were giving that the other way last the first half, but we'll just ignore that. Uh, George Joyce on the ball now. Looking for the ball to Ivan Otto. And she's making things Sabo! happen. Sabo, no! Can't be! Restrictive view, like I mentioned. And have a free kick, this far side. Just can't see it on camera, but I will try and cover it as much as possible here. <laughs> to win that final second ball and... Free kick once again goes against United and it's free kick to Desborough Town. It's much better winning the ball back a lot more in midfield. Don't worry about it. (laughs) 
has been at in and go back but you know a bit of calmness on the ball now a bit more calm and collective which is good to see much better from united the free kick has gone the way of people's way united Martin Afuzu for the side start yeah. for the host, but been just the start that United would have wanted. A lot more positive going forward. I think definitely feel that it's definitely something in this game for us. Next goal will count to be crucial in this game. Two 0 always a dangerous scoreline, of course, in football. And Bailey didn't quite know where the ball was. Ivan Otto did though. Takes the shot. Oh, just wide of the post. We were looking for a corner. We've got the corner Desbra! deflected. Desbra, that was a good chance by Ivan Otto. And it's proven, Face as I it! mentioned, it's been Face a much more positive start to the second half for Biggles Wedge United. They're really trying to push to get a goal that could potentially get them back in this game. Thanks. And that Hamid crossing the ball in for the header. It's Ivan Otto, Bernat, Hamid with the cross. Someone needs to get the shot here. Stefan Bailey with the shot just wide again. Much better though from Biggles Wade United. A lot more positive. That's just the reaction Christian would have wanted after his half time team talk. And a good couple of chances there for United. Let's hope they don't miss the missed opportunities there. But it's been a positive opening four minutes for United in this second half. As I mentioned, two goals down. Next goal will always be crucial. If you concede a third, it's almost game over. But if we score, it's very much will be game on here. I really don't want to concede here. Stefan Bailey did well. Aaron Khan did well. No, it's right. Just trying to defend here. United winning the ball back a lot more in midfield, but now looking for that out ball to Ivan Otto. There's a player that's gone down here for Desmond. The referee has pulled it back for probably a free kick. Right, face up, face up. George is definitely making stuff happen that right hand side. Omar was looking for that pass to Otto. It was a good little move there, but Ivan just wasn't on the same um, on the way there. Then it's a good little play there, comfortable on the ball there by Gabriel. Time. Can we go feet? And they're looking for that ball over the top themselves now. And now United almost forcing the play they were trying to do in the first half, and now. Anyway, Desborough getting the ball up the field, trying to long ball over the top, and it's gone out of play for a United throw. It's a bit more positive in the second half, don't you think, James? Yeah, we could, could have, should have scored two, but you know that's the difference, isn't it? They've had the two chances. chances. Yeah. They've had two. They've scored two. We've had two. It's still yes. without any goals. Could have had an opportunity here and just rushed it there a little bit. The ball's still in play, though. Oh, man. Hamid here making stuff happen, looking to find the ball with Ivan Otto. Just couldn't quite find him. Want to be wary of the counter attack, but Benat collects well. Turns his man. Looking for the pass to Ivan Otto. Overtouched a little bit there. Ivan was unfortunate. A lot less spaces, though, for the host to exploit than in the opening first half. Fuzzy does well to stay on his feet against two defenders there. Still kept the ball and passed it. 
Brilliant play. The Nat now on the ball. It's a lot more comfortable. Get wide, Fritz, get wide. Do it, Fritz, do it, do it, do this it, do it. seems like a crucial point in this match. George oh, Joyce turns his man well. It's the Nat now looks to let fly. Air shots. Well saved at the bottom right for Chris Jones. That's the third chance now for Biggest Wedge United in this first half. They've really got to take one of these chances. I think the success United have had in possession in the second half compared to the third, first is all down to I think, the confidence in the, of possession in the, in the midfield. And as I say, that the ball's given away. But covered well. It's much better. A lot more confident on the ball, but that won the foul well. Considering he lost his balance a little bit there, but he did well to win the, win the foul, didn't Finn John James? Yeah, he's done well. Um, draw the foul, get the boys up the pitch, and let's see what we can get from this now. <laughs> a very positive opening eight minutes of the second half as referee's giving the first yellow card to Desborough Town in this match. Let's go! Let's go! Second in the game overall. It's a yellow card for Jake Vettles. Aaron Khan pushing everyone up the field. It's going to be another opportunity here for United. It must be a very positive opening 10 minutes of the first half. We mentioned that they needed a positive first opening for the second half. It's exactly what we're getting so far. But when you're two goals down, you can't really afford to have a couple chances before you score. You've really got to take one of these chances. Ten. Ivan Otto to Bernat. Oh, I just couldn't quite get it to him. It's right. unfortunate. Bell, United still bang. in possession now on the ball. With Who's on him? George Joyce to... Who's on the skipper? Who's on him? He's been a very decent replacement for Axel Ampadu today. Fucking that is easy. Bernat crossing the ball in. And that's another chance. Just missed there by Martin Afuzu. That's the fourth chance there for United. We've really got to be taking one of these chances. 2-0, as I mentioned, very dangerous scoreline. We're getting closer and closer to getting on the score sheet in a situation where if you get on the score sheet, it's going to be very much game on in this match. Apologies for any bad language you might hear. Being besides both dugouts, it's very hard to avoid. I hope you enjoy the coverage, though. Nonetheless, of course, make sure you stay subscribed to Biggles World United on YouTube and follow the Twitch channel. Martin Afuzu, just great pressing by the centre forward. He's been shrugged off, though, by the desperate defender. Clear the way. But Nat looking to win the ball back in midfield. As well, she couldn't keep it in play, though, but Nat, and it is going to be a throw into Desperate Town. Could have a potential Ivan Otto. Found himself to take the goalkeeper and he scored. That's the chance we have been trying to chance. Ivan Otto, the ball over the top this time worked. It's onside and it's a lovely ball. We fucking deserve that. Lovely chip over the goalkeeper and it's game on here. Desbridge Town 2, Biggles Wage United 1. That's the ball we've been looking for all day, James. Yeah, great ball. Even better finish, though. Great finish. There is three of us in there. I mean, how many more do we want in there? He's a man who's always seemed to be trying to make stuff happen going forward. And to score in a match. And now United got their tails up here. The ball's crossed in. Oh, well saved there. Now United... I've got their tails up. They've got to make sure they defend now as well. George Joyce, he's definitely had a good game so far for United today. They just don't want to concede here. United is definitely, and they've just got to be careful now. No mistakes at the back. Cameron. Omar didn't know where he was there. And nothing given for that one. I don't see anything wrong with that time, do you? No. 
Um, God, might, we... might have got away with one there. But... Might have done, yeah, yeah. I was being slightly sarcastic, but we've got to take the rubber to green, definitely. Not too much, away from home. Not too much. Not too much. As Biggleswade United found themselves back into this game for a delightful ball over the top that found, uh, found Ivan Otto. And it's all that we've deserved in this second half because we've been the better sides in this second half. It's definitely been a game of two halves. But Nat keeps the ball well. Goes down looking for the foul. Doesn't get it. And really don't want to concede here. It's Ben. It's Tom Gajar. He's pushed down and he's given a penalty. That's kind of summed up United in a nutshell there. Oh, he's done his body there. Oh, Seemed to be quite soft. And it is a penalty. And once again, United get themselves back into a game. And now pass a penalty against them. And it is a penalty to the hosts. There's going to be no sub yet, but it is going to be Jake Vettels against Aaron Khan. It is 2 1 here in Desperate Town. But Nat looks to be holding his calves. Let's go, ready? Well done, Aaron. It's Vettels against Aaron. He did actually save a penalty in the Youth Cup on Thursday, so. Hopefully, Hopefully it, it, that Hopefully. might well be a good omen. I don't know what's going on here. What? Who's Aaron talking to? Be ready! Delaying it a little bit, which is. Ivan Otto scored, Ari, if you are watching. Big, big moment in the match. It is 2 1. United have dominated so far. And it's gone into the top right corner. A penalty which looked to be soft at the time was given. And it has gone in. And it's just not the luck that we wanted right now. Just stepped into him and went down. Cameron Omar now coming off for Biggles Wage United for George Harlow. George Harlow on. Cameron Omar off. So it's another change up in midfield. United, they've got to keep their heads up, though, James, I think. They've got to keep their heads up. A positive first half, yes. I mean, it might have been a bit of a soft one there. but If you take into the second half, it's probably been all us. Did we deserve the goal 100%? Did we deserve to give away the pen? Definitely not. But, again, you know, we've said it so many times. That's football. But, yeah. you know, let's hope that we can not drop keep our heads, heads up. Keep, yeah, just keep in it. Is it? But how many times have we seen this season us just fold and we've not got the right decision? Like we said, that's football. Yeah, that's football. And the ball back well, though, there. George Harlow, as mentioned, the only player that was at Big Wade United still last season. He comes on in the second, comes on after we have conceded the third. I mean, I have to say, if United played like this in the first 20 minutes, this could very much, this match could definitely be on level terms right now. But we mentioned that is football. And I've been there giving away the ball. Probably not to get too frustrated. Yeah, definitely very much still in the match. We mentioned the two goal deficit can be dangerous. It is still a two goal deficit, but not looking for that ball. We thought that that was injured, but he seems to be okay now. Can we go feet? Can we try yeah, and go feet? Like uh, Shrugged it off, off a little yeah. bit. He's definitely have, has a bit of a limp on him. Yeah. Nice little ball, George Harlow. Go, 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 go. Saw what he could do last season. He's looking to try and recreate some of the brilliance he showed last year. He struggled a little bit this season, but... Three kicks gone against United here. Just about keeping our heads now. Uh, Fibs, that's fine, mate. Get him fucking get in the ball. Waste his own time. Ali, 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 Ali,
and not making mistakes like we just saw there, unfortunately. They looked to the ball up the field a bit more. That's a good play by Ben Fitzjohn. Bernat does well. Good recovery there by Bernat. Won the ball back. I think he's had a good second half so far, Bernat won the ball back quite a few times. Been very good on the ball, good off the ball. Probably been one of the best players this half. Face it! Face it! Face it! It's a quick throw there by United, hey! and that's definitely a free kick there, surely, and the free kick is given. A lot of fouls in this game. Mills, what are we saying? So United right. now making another substitution. Stefan! Stefan! Stefan. Well, not quite the substitution just yet, so just pause on that one. Not quite a sub just yet. Free kick, crucial position. Another opportunity to get back in the game and to get the deficit down to one. Be strong, Desbra! Be strong! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Free kick, dangerous position here for United. Better than nothing. It's crossed in. Get the turn. Dug well there. Ref! Yeah. Fucking hell, he might go for the ball next time, ref. And Fucking hell. No intention. Yeah, it must be. Oh, yeah, three now. Oh, no. Doing it now, yeah. Man City dancing. Man. Yeah. Oh, Walker. Be a bit of a. Yeah, that's breaking play. The referee did give a foul against United. It is a free kick. Second! Nice header there. Play the ball up for this Ivan Otto. Ivan Otto, who's definitely making stuff happen. Got United back in the game originally, looking to try and get back in the game again here. Ivan Otto with the cross in. Past everybody and just said sign that in goal kick. But, but we were a bit that when Leo's going up, I'd rather you be three behind him than three in front, yeah? That's it. Where's our next beat ball? Where's our next beat ball? And United now. Good. Where's our next beat ball? Stay calm a little bit here. Tenter is running high, definitely on the top lines. And Derek Maruma there looks like to be pulling up there. He's definitely pulled up there. Does not look good there for Maruma. He's gone down now on the far side. Does not look good. Just seem to land a bit awkwardly there. Yeah, Maruna. Come <laughs> No one likes grass now. <laughs> Simon, when you're ready, people, I'll make a sub. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're happy now. As the host looked to make their first sub of the day. And it looks like you can't quite see it from in the camera, but I can tell you that Maruma is still down. It looks like he's going to come off. And it could be a could be a very good opportunity this though. This little break in play for United to just you know Christian talk to some of his players. Oh, Cameron. It's Cameron now, of course, who came off.
Tom, you got to learn a first language first, mate. Yeah. You remind me of them. Them. Don't remember there. Just get in some um, treatment. It looks like we are going to get the substitution. And it's going to be due. Two minutes when it restarts, okay? Two minutes when it restarts. Duke. Duke, thank you. Duke Nati will be coming on. Duke Nati coming on for Derek Marimba, who let's hope it's not too serious, James. Yeah, hopefully not. Uh, simply because he's my left home, so <laughs> I want to get home. <laughs> See you all back in a couple of weeks. How's recovery been? Uh, all right, it's been told to rest. Keep the weight off my ankle. So, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Wow. Hopefully back in a couple of weeks. That'll be good. That'll be good. They've got a few players out as well, so it'd be good to have everyone back. You ready? Yeah, competition for places. That's what we need. That's it, yeah. And of course, when we're doing a rebuild like we are, missing players as well is... It can be very difficult to then go out there. Then put a player who aren't playing in the right position. And they don't, they're not used to playing together and getting that chemistry up. But they've kept their heads up well. It's still only 3-1. It's all very much in the game. Yeah, definitely get a and couple of chances, convert them, and you know, can make a very interesting last 10 15. Wait, what are you done? Groin. That's all right. You haven't got, you haven't got a turn when you're driving. Just defend it! Just defend it! He's groin there. We'll end up in Birmingham. So that may be a groin problem that for Derek. Hopefully it's not too serious. Bad, bad show on that. Hear that. Jesus. Was the act you injured? Hmm? The act you injured? Or... Oh, it could well be a mistake here. This is going to be so gutting here. Aaron, that's a great save there by Aaron. Fritz, did he catch us out. in the game? Someone help him out. Yeah, fortunate. Fortunate miss it. Uh, excuse me from the strike. There you go. There you go. Sean Gudger as well, so, so him before today, seven goals in five games is on a lot on, on he's on he's on form and Aaron well to react after the mistake of the back and we've done well to uh respond. Of course we've passed everybody though, unfortunately he's out of play for a goal kick. Simon, next time it goes out for us this half, we'd like to make a change, please. Joe, choice now. Probably playing them back on the way now. Ivan to George Harlow. Kept the ball in play well. George Joyce. Shut his passes off. Shut his passes off. George Harlow to George Joyce. Not George's. But now, I feel he's had a positive second half, especially since he got the yellow card. I think he's been a bit better in his challenges, for sure. Running the ball back well in midfield. As, and he's kept it in play there. And gone for the long shot there. Stefan Bailey, a bit um, ambitious. Straight to the goalkeeper. Has to run back as well. Aaron has to time this perfectly. Oh, you tell you what, he done well there to uh, the defensive header there by young Aaron. George Arlo to Ali. 
It's to be spaced down the left. I don't think he saw it though. That was a poor pass there in the end, but a lot more positive, I think, with the ball. A bit more confidence on the ball than we have seen. And as we mentioned, five, maybe six players out, including the man next to me, of course. He'll be back in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Hopefully. And Aaron, that's very well caught the way by Aaron Khan. I don't know if we mentioned he's only 16 years of age. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's half my age. <laughs> <laughs> And he seems to be a very young, pro good young prospect. United have on our hands, of course, played in the under-18s level last season, straight in the first team this season. And I'd still argue and say he's definitely saved more shots than he's conceded this season, for sure. Matches I've seen. But he's keeping United in this match as well, which will give the team confidence. But now... Misplaced pass there. Oh, and George Harlow, mistimed tackle. Safety. Referee. Definitely give him a talking to or a yellow card. It looks like he's going to give him a yellow card. George Harlow, of course, one of the second half substitutes. Poor pass by Bernat, but you don't need to dive in there. You can stay on your feet. A bit of a panic, wasn't it? A little bit. Oh, that's my phone. Not, not a streaming phone. So. <laughs> no. That's a substitution for the host, just to confirm. Not, no substitution for United, but another substitution for the host since they've got a free kick here. By Tom Mills, he's going to take it. <laughs> but that's to Afuzu. As United look to get that other goal that they need to get back into this game. Oh, no cross, there's nobody there. Make sure Leo's not up there. We're about 15 minutes to go. I've been saying that as well. I think it's a really good game. Considering Axel's on in that position, he normally does really well. I think he's done well. In his absence, yeah. Can we find feet? Can we find feet? As United still got some defenders to do, it's Gadja on the ball for Desbra, and it's I'll play for a goal kick. As United look to make their third substitution of the day. Yes, Coolio. Ivan, are we good for ninety? I need to know. Well, he got. And now he's got the ball back in midfield with Bernat. We haven't quite made that substitution yet. It's George Joyce. To Bernat. Bernat to Joyce. There we go, keep him there. Let's go, Jerry. Now put him under a bit of pressure. A lucky pass. Oh, uh, good defending there again. by Gabriel. I feel it's definitely had a good game. They've got space well, on both well, sides well, here, but it's well intercepted. Well, it's well intercepted by Lee Galvey, who came on in the second half for. Go wide, Jeff. Well, tackles flying in here now, and the referee doesn't like that one against Gabriel, and it's a free kick to the host. You've done it now, 
No substitution just yet, but the free kick's going to be taken. Collected well by United. Yes, Ray. He's kept it. Ivan Otto now down this left hand side. Can't quite see, but a <laughs> lot going on on this side. And this could be a free shot now, so what? Oh, it's a good save in the end. Well done, Gav. Listen. But now, to Bailey. Cross his lines a little bit. Relax, you China. Relax us. Relax us. I've got about 27 minutes to go. It's Desperate Town 3, Biggleswood United 1. United are much, probably one of the most positive halves of football I've seen all season from United. And it is number 17, Lawrence and John coming on. Just make sure that people are around. The one that goes, let people around. Yeah. Let's not be square. Del. Sorry, who came on? Lawrence. Lawrence. No, sorry, who came on? Oh, sorry. Wrong. Number seven. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's Ben Ambola, who has come off for Lawrence Ajong. Got himself a couple so far this season. And an extra striker up there for United. It's pretty much a like for like, I would say. But Ajong's definitely more of a central, of a sit, more of a central striker, I would say. Good job. Sorry. We're going back on the field. I think the flag's going to go up here. Sorry, man, go straight to Aaron. And we're seeing these uh, long balls over the top from um, Desborough, which we've seen a lot of from Biggleswade in the first half. And that's just pump, pump it up there and hope for the best. And we're seeing that from Desborough in the, in the second half. And it's allowing Biggleswade to get more possession and uh, more freedom of the pitch. We're just not capitalising on the chances so far that we're getting. But it's Lawrence De John who straight away gets himself in a good position. Ivan Otto crossed in, past everybody. Duke Nati now. Pick it up, no, no. Someone it looks get like he's going to win. He's still, he's, the ball's still on here. So Nat has uh, lost out there, but it's out of play for United throw. So he's still pushing. Mention a two goal lead is always dangerous in football. But Nat with the shot. It's over the bar. You know, sometimes you don't mind the shot from distance, but it's unfortunate there from Bernat. No, 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 no. Well, second there. ball, Bernat. Definitely been one of his better games for Biggles Red United, including the game that he scored in. And it's much better. Running the ball back in midfield a lot more here in now United. Definitely chance in this game. That's a good one too, George Harlow. I feel it's been very positive, I think, since coming on George Harlow. Probably the better, one of the better games we've seen from him all season. Aaron once again coming out and collecting well. And I think the confidence Aaron is losing right now is definitely boosting the whole team going forward. They definitely trust in him. But that and this place pass was unfortunate. Just got to keep your head up there, but that. 
Yeah, winning those second balls well now, United. Relax. I just hope it's not going to be one of those days once again where we just rule those missed chances that we've had in this game. Benat's really got to be Benat's got to be careful. And he has been sent off as his second yellow card for Benat. He's got to be careful. And the referee's now sent him off. I think now just keep him away now as the teams. And that is a red card for Biggles Wedge United, as I mentioned, a positive. It's been a positive second half. And Benat. I bet he gets something to be fine. What's the betting? Be nothing but fucking wrong with him. Apologies for any foul language. Of course. He's moaning all fucking game. All fucking game. This referee's on a power trip, you know. The referee in this game has been questionable at the best. But now he's had a good second half, but second yellow card's been given. And United, more of a mountain to climb. And it seems to be a bit more professional foul, but you've got to be a little bit careful sometimes, don't you, when you're on yellow card. And United find themselves down to 10 men. That's, a, that's okay. Tensions, tensions are running high down the touchlines. So apologies. Not for that. The screen's pulled the ref. Oh, I'm mate. You're not allowed to give, not allowed to shout for yellows and all these shouting. It's four, 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 four. four <laughs> Once again, ref, not explaining your decision about the first half. Just got to keep the heads up now. Down to ten. So the referee decisions haven't exactly been the best in this match, but malicious, malicious, malicious. Oh, oh, a day off. Malicious. He doesn't know malicious is a straight red as well, doesn't he? But he knows malicious isn't a yellow. Malicious. If he'd said Lee, I'd have been all right there. Mallet, <laughs> Mallet, we don't need to get involved. Go for break and play here. You started it. By shouting four, 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 four. Exactly. Yeah, he made the foul, didn't he? Four. Yeah, I know number, no, I number. you shouted it about five times. It was a foul, yeah. I'm not saying it wasn't a foul. It was a But you're asking for a fucking yellow. Why do you throw any? Oh, he's crying. Shame. That's a bad thing I've seen from a gaffer. You ready? You ready, son? You're going to go on full back. Fucking idiot. Absolutely embarrassing. Fuck off. Fuck off, you chubby cunt. Apologies. Again. Like I mentioned, tension's high, especially in non league football. You're going you're gonna to hear tensions running high. Fucking wind, you know, right back. And after a long break, we are back underway. Thank you. At least the line is watching the game. See, got the best situation I mentioned. You, you've heard the thoughts of most people on this touchline about that decision, but United still got to keep their heads up, still. Even though we're down to 10, it's going to be a lot more difficult. With the gaps in midfield now going to be created, losing the defensive midfielder. But just about, just about keeping the heads up now. Well, stay well defended. 
Decisions, especially when you're down at the bottom, you need decisions to go your way, James, but it just hasn't happened today. Soft penalty, didn't, haven't taken chances, and we're switched off for the first 10. That's it, really, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's hey, hey, come on, man! Come on, man! It's been a bit of a story of our season, but I can definitely see positives from the second half. Yeah, I, 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 apart from the opening 10 to 15 minutes, just Derek there came off in the second half there. Yeah. Okay. Well done, Gav! Well done, son! You well take done, out the opening 15 minutes, that's probably say we've been the better team since going 2 0 down. Yeah. So we had a very good. I think what what changed the whole complexion of this match was the penalty decision, which was in the moment of the match where United got themselves back in the game two one. Ivan, not Ivan, Ivan chopped the lob over the goalkeeper. Our, our tails were up, looking to push him for the second goal. Referee gives a penalty against us, and it's just unfortunate, really. Ivan, as I mentioned there, on the ball, George Joyce. That's definitely been a positive of this match, don't you think, James? That the connect, the uh, George Joyce and Ivan Otto, the passing and the changing I think about the second side. Yeah, that's been... right, like, like we mentioned before, George has had a very good game to that right back apart from that pass that he's given away, the old commentator's curse. There. That's the one. <laughs> but, uh, can't, you can't um, get away from that one, unfortunately, when it comes to commentary. It's always going to happen. Thought I had until the 85th. Up again! Up again, on it! Come on! Come on! But apart from probably the referee, the uh, right back been a competitive right. match. It's not been a slaughter, or you know, or anything like that. It's been a competitive end-to-end -end game of football, which I would argue for most of the part we've probably been the better team. We just haven't taken the chances. She mentioned the first opening ten minutes just wasn't switched on. And up until I mean we scored, tells her up. Obviously conceded the penalty. I think that was a big moment in the match. Really, that is an awful decision. Now the referee's giving a free kick just outside the box for Desperate Town. Bit of a frustrating afternoon. Oh, this one's not crying as well. This is embarrassing. Yeah. 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 I bet he is crying. I bet your father is crying. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe he's hurt. Maybe it really hurt him. That's a shame. No one's ever thought of that, have they? <laughs> nah, not even. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not even. <laughs> No, I love the fact that you nibble with every little bit of bait I've thrown out today. This geezer, like, every time I've thrown something, I didn't even. That's the fishing line, isn't it? There was two in the first one, but I didn't even throw it at him, and he just fucking jumped in and nibbled him. It's going to be a free kick. But... But I mentioned Desenbrough's got a player down. A bit of a breaking play here. Gives me an opportunity to say that we will be covering the ladies' blues match tomorrow. Spartan Rovers against Biggleswade United ladies' blues. They start their league campaign against Spartan Rovers. That will be live two o'clock kickoff on YouTube and Twitch. Of course, if we can't make it down to Spartan Rovers to support the uh, ladies blues we will be covering it live on youtube and twitch so make sure you are stay subscribed and follow the twitch channel and uh yeah so we've got that tomorrow and of course next saturday united back in action against cog and Harrow. united away next saturday three o'clock kickoff of course, you've also got the ladies' red who are up against Watford ladies. That is a friendly that's on at the same time at 2 o'clock, which we hope to try and keep some updates of the reds in action whilst 
we're covering the Blues match. We hope to try and keep everyone updated on how the Reds are doing in their friendly. Of course, their season have, has not started as of yet. But, yeah, here at uh, Desborough, it's been, it's been more of a day of frustration, Zanes, I think. Yeah, what yeah. could have been. 100%. You know, we've said it a few times. Could we have got something from you? Yes. Have we? No. I'm surprised you might have recorded there. Just like you say, frustrating. Yeah. Oh, I can't lie. He's, he's done he's really, really cool. Cool. He's hurt both legs. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even step on one. It's going to be a free kick now. We we'll be taken. Hey, we well, just got another nibble. Another nibble. Fucking hell, this is starving. You know, you know what? You want to get your other coach on the same diet? You're on if you're this hungry. Fucking hell. Free kick. Free kick. Straight to the wall. Well defended by United. Well defended by United. Paul stays in. And flags up for offside. And that's full time whistle. Full time Desborough Town. Three, Biggles Wade United won a match where it's been a brilliant <laughs> second half. I thought for Biggles Wade United in the circumstances, we got ourselves back in the game, 2 0 down at half time. And to take out the first 10 minutes of the match, I'd say we probably won a better team. It's definitely a match of what could have been today. Um, a fantastic ball over the top, Ivan Otto, then chipped the goalkeeper brilliantly. Sorry, you can go past. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a. Um, what could have been today for Biggles Rage United as we're still looking for our first points of the season. But certainly a lot of positives, I think, to take from today's performance overall, James. Yeah, it reminds me of, pretty much so. it reminds me of the uh, Wellingborough game. You know, we had chances, we had positiveness. But the issue is now, it's only positive if we work on it and go into next Saturday with them, you know, positives. Um, hey, it was good. I think the penalty conceded right after we were set the team tails were up after yeah, just people, scoring. People say it was the defining moment in the game. And that's, that's that's what it, it. was. Yeah, you know, we're on we're on top. And you can even argue even after the penalty was even after the penalty was converted. I think even before the sending off and chaos kind of ensued after that. Let's we'll say we were even the better team after the third goal. Yeah, so. see, I, I think we were. I think we were probably the better team first half. We had chances. First half, we were okay. The second half, we were the better team. Um, you know, we got back in it. Should have scored a couple before we got back in it. We got back in it. Then they go and score, albeit a very well-taken penalty, but a very, very soft penalty. In you know, the red card, I think we've said enough about that today. Yeah, you know, the red card was... Well, Questionable. I th- yeah, he definitely very, wouldn't have looked soft. at it if he wasn't on a yellow card already, I or think. Or if he uh, Home team manager didn't shout out number four five or six times. Um, but, you know, it's all about taking chances. And, you know, we didn't, they did. If you look at the attempts at goal, we've probably had more than them as well. That's it, yeah. come away with the three points and we're still stuck at the bottom of the table with zero. That's it. And, of course, we'll be back again next week. Away once again to... United, as United still look for their first points of the season. And as I've already mentioned, of course, um, we are covering the United Blues match, Barton Rovers against Beagles Wedge United ladies. Make sure you do join us for that one. The Reds also are in action against Watford ladies. Thanks for joining me for commentary, James. No worries at all. Thank you. And I'll hopefully, hopefully be back on the pitch soon. Back in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Good yeah. to hear from you, James. Good. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, that's going to be all it from me. Of course, you'll get the uh, post-match interview from Christian later on. So make sure, well, one, whilst this is, when this goes out, you probably would have heard the match reaction from Christian. But, yeah, my uh, final thoughts, I think James summed it up perfectly. It was a game of moments. And as soon as that penalty was given, that was, just seemed to be a massive change in the match. It was, a, it was a bit of a soft one as well. But that happens in football, unfortunately. The red card was a bit questionable. But when you're on a yellow card, you can't take the risk. That's something I would always say. Um, I'm not trying to be too biased towards us. And if I'm looking at it from a level strain point, when you're on a yellow, you do have to be careful. And sometimes you do ask for it a little bit when you're on a yellow card. So that is what it is. And it was just a game where, once again, that opening 
for 10 to 15 minutes. We were slow out the blocks and Desbert capitalised brilliantly. And um, it probably didn't, I mean, it's a day where if I was to sum up, if I was to say one positive, this is probably one of the few times this season where I could say we've come out of this, we've come out of a, another game not getting any points. But we've come out of it disappointed and, you know, a little bit gutted that we, you know, we could have got something today. And just looking for those first points. And that with this team, I'm still confident it will come. Aaron still had a good game. I think George Joyce and Ivan Otto, brilliant, took the finish fantastically well. Seems to be the heart of everything that we try and do down the left-hand side of Ivan Otto, for sure. But um, once again, we've just we've just fallen short, unfortunately, today. As I said, Tom Gurdjieff, we knew he was going to be difficult to uh, play against. He, he scored his eighth goal in six games. But that's going to sum it up for me here. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage, of course. Make sure you stay subscribed and follow. And, of course, sponsor a player. is still available, £75 a season. More information on the club. Uh, no, sorry, Biggleswood United um, at gmail.com if you want to contact the club, if you are a local business and would like to sponsor a player at the club. Then more information is there. Of course, a big thank you to Top 11 for being a shirt sponsor for Biggleswood United once again. And Keach Hospice Care for being the sponsor of, of course, Biggles Wage United Scram, the Keach Hospice Care Stadium. That's going to wrap it up for me. Of course, James has already said his goodbyes, so a big thank you from him. Thank you from me. Of course, I'm Ryan Madden on your commentary, your commentator today. And uh, just a quick one once again. Join us tomorrow. It'll be live as well. Barton Rovers against Biggles Wade United Ladies Blues. Join us 2 o'clock kickoff for that one, YouTube and Twitch. Make sure you stay subscribed and follow to make sure you do not miss any ladies or men's Biggles Wade United matches. That's going to be it for me. Thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you for the next one.